Hello brothers, wishing you all a good day, today, I'm going to make a video about 3 new fate bounds of season 2. Perhaps you already know how they work, or maybe you're still unfamiliar with them. I've just dug deeper into them today and found some aspects a bit tricky to understand, without further ado, let's dive right into the main topic. First off, let's talk about the fate bound called latent potential, you can find this fate bound in the kernel subspace map. Just taking a quick round there will net you all three pieces you need. This fate bound supports spellcasting classes that require frequent skill usage, such as the warrior's spinning skill, it's also effective against classes that have skills that cost a lot of mana, do you remember the red easter necklace? It also fits this fate bound. However, from what I've observed, this fate bound is most effective in the early stages of the game because as players progress, they don't tend to deplete their energy reserves as quickly, making it less powerful. It might be more suitable for some classes that are purchased with in-game USD. However, if you combine it with the fate bound mana buffer, it becomes more viable. So, what does that fate bound do? Let's move on to the second fate bound together. You can find this fate bound in the Terminus Ixion map. The function of this fate bound is to reduce the mana cost when you use skills and it will make your mana absorb damage instead of HP, about 50%. So, it's very suitable for spellcasting classes. Now you can increase your max INT points because INT points greatly increase spell damage. Thanks to this fate bound, it also enhances survivability for spellcasting classes. Alright, now let's move on to the third fate bound, Meditation, you'll find this fate bound in the Lucent Corridor map. This fate bound is indeed the most puzzling one. Even up to now, after testing numerous skill combinations, I haven't noticed any significant effects. I've tried applying it to the wood transformation skill of the ninja, but still no results. If anyone knows more about this fate bound, please comment and let me know. My video concludes here. I hope you found it helpful, and I appreciate any assistance you can provide regarding understanding how this fate bound works. I also hope you enjoyed the video, as your support motivates me to create even better content in the future. Thank you all so much.